there are a lot of ways to animate your MetaHuman inside Unreal Engine. One of the first method is to manually animate it, but manually animation takes time, a lot of time, and it takes a lot of effort. So what are the easier methods? First, you can use any motion capture device, just like Sony Mokopi. It's quite affordable, but in some regions, it's application doesn't work. Like in Middle East, the application doesn't work. And maybe in your country, it works. So you can buy this Mokopi uh, like device, quite affordable and results are uh, really good. Or if you want to go uh, one level ahead or a professional level, you can buy Rococo uh, motion capture suit. It's also very professional, uh, like professional, but quite expensive than Mokopi. Other than that, if you don't want to use any device or if you don't want to use any uh, like motion capture suit, you can use Move AI. It's a markerless motion capture technology where you can use multiple uh, iPhones or single iPhone and the results are phenomenal. So really good results it will give you and like quite uh, affordable because you don't need any device. Otherwise, you can download premium animations from different websites. Like one of the websites is ActorCore. You can download any FBX files from here. You can apply them on your MetaHumans or you can uh, download from Motorica or uh, from Wonder Dynamic, uh, like Dynamics, you, like Wonder Studio, you can download or Mixamo, you can download from Mixamo. Okay, so uh, you cannot download these and directly use inside your metahuman you need to retarget your metahuman first and then you can apply the animation that you have downloaded in the older version of unreal engine which were older than 5.4 the uh, retargeting was quite a lengthy process because you had you uh, you used to uh, like retarget every single bone. But in the Unreal Engine 5.4, the method, the process of retargeting has become very easy. Just with a single click of button, you can retarget your metahuman. So in this lesson, we will learn how we can retarget inside Unreal Engine 5.4. So in Mexamo, uh, I have found this animation and it's, it's quite good. I will download this one by clicking download button and I will choose the format FPX with skin, 30% of frame rate and frame reduction none. Everything, I kept it as it is. I, I have not changed anything. So I will press download button here and it will start downloading and it will ask me where to download. So I will go to that folder. Like suppose this folder, I will go and I will download this. Okay, and I will rename my file to well, whatever I want. Okay, now, Apart from Mexamo, we have another website which is called Meshcapade. Now, Meshcapade is kind of like a editor sort of um, like motion capture, like download, uh, like downloading website. You can search for any animation which is in their database. It kind of looks like AI, but it is not AI because if you will search on it. Uh, for something, it will keep on giving you the same kind of result. That means it's not AI generated uh, motion capture. It's their uh, own uh, hub of motion capture. Okay. And that's how I came to know that it's not basically a, a real time uh, AI generate, like, like generating uh, like motion capture uh, websites. Suppose if I type here, I'm, uh, a person is doing crazy dance. Okay, so uh, all the time it will give me the same like sort of four dancing results here. So you can see that, but the animation is quite good. Really nice animation, quite realistic, very smooth. So this kind of animation cannot be generated by AI. Okay, so uh, so basically uh, it's not 100% AI generated uh, like motion capture like website or animation generated website. So Suppose I write here a person doing funny walk. So it will give you uh, like different kind of result from its own uh, hub, okay? Uh, so these are already created animations here, which you can see that you can download, okay? Now, now one, more, one of the good thing is that if you will go to the photos option on the left side, you can generate any pose from any single photograph and you can use this pose inside Unreal Engine or you can go to the videos, upload your video here and it will generate animation from it. Okay, just like 
uh, if we will go to the wall that we show you or you save file. I have made this uh, Mr. Bean animation here. Okay, I upload it here and then uh, it generated this animation for me. Okay, it's not that perfect, but at least it gives you like some like sort of a like starting point which you can fix later on. Okay, and then I have this animation which is a Kathak dance. This was pre made inside uh, the mesh capate. So we'll try to download this one. Okay, and we'll use this uh, like Kathak dance in our meta human. Um, so I will just go here on this site, press save. Okay. And first of all, you, you have to make sure that gender you have chosen and everything. So I have chosen uh, like male gender here. Okay. So say, uh, let's do again because uh, my page need to be uh, refresh. Okay. Now save. It will take 100 credit, uh, like credit, uh, like, uh, like from you. It will give you 2000, uh, 2000 credits in the beginning. So I used 100 credits for this one. So it is now generating. Uh, avatar which is successfully created now i can go to the download folder a uh, download option export i can choose my file format fpx compatibility mode unreal okay and then download avatar okay it will take a little time to generate the avatar once it is done it will show you this mess uh, message that uh, uh please wait while downloading the request file requested file Okay, so once this is done, it will ask you where to download. So I will choose my folder and I will give it a name, something like Kathak Dance. Okay. And uh, Kathak Dance, I think, underscore original. Okay, ORG. And then it will download in the folder. So now let's go back to Unreal Engine to our MetaHuman and let's retarget our animation now inside the animations folder i can bring my uh both animations the gundam style from mexamo kathak dance from meshkapate but before that let's make a uh okay uh just cancel this one let's make a folder first let's make a folder first here i uh, will call this folder uh mexamo okay and i will make another folder and i will rename this folder to meshcapate so mexamo animation will go in the mexamo meshcapate will go in the meshcapate so i will go in the, inside the mexamo import and choose my uh gundam style animation from here open okay now i have to make sure the skeleton mesh is selected import mesh is selected okay and everything else is as it is skeletal no import animation yes okay sometimes what happens uh in mexamo it gives you only skeleton but not the animation so in that case you can import the skeleton first then import the animation and apply it on that skeleton but for this uh like file uh everything is fine so we will keep all these settings okay without changing anything just check on import animation and it will start importing your animation here so once this is done you can see that your uh, animation and skeleton, everything is there. So let me close from here. You will get some warning messages. So you can ignore that. Okay. So here I have this Gundam style animation. If you double click on this one. Okay. So it will show you the Gundam style dance. Okay. Which is quite good. Now you can go to Mesh Capate and we will do the same thing. Import. Okay. And you will go and search for the Kathak dance that you imported from the mesh capate. The, here it is. I will press import. Okay. Once I will press import and it will give me the same import options. And I will use the same import options which I use for the Mexamo uh, animation. And I will press import all. Okay. So once this is done, so it will be imported inside my uh, mesh capate folder. And you can see that. I have this uh, Kathak dance animation here. Uh, quite good Kathak dance. I never knew that I would be doing Kathak dance. So let's let's check this. Uh, let's go in the Meshkapate folder. And make, uh, first, let's go to the Mexamo folder and take our Gundam style animation. Right click on it. And then I will go to the retarget animations. Now in the retarget animations, uh, you have to select your target skeletal mesh. Now, 
this target uh, my target skeletal mesh is my metahuman which is m med nrw body now how do i know this is my target skeleton usually if you go to your metahuman and go to the edit uh, blueprint and inside the uh, blueprint if you go to the viewport you will go to body and inside the body you will notice that it the name is m med nrw body so that's how i know this is my meta humans body so i will choose this meta human body from here and the target skeletal mesh okay so make sure you have selected that after that you have to search for your uh, animation here Okay, so there are a lot of animations. So what you can do is that you can just type here simply Gundam style. So I will type here Gundam style and then here is my examo.com Gundam style. If I double click on it, you will see it is right away retargeted. Just with the single click, you can retarget. Uh, that's that's how, that's fast. Okay, now when you're done, you can export retarget assets or export animation so our main purpose here is to export animations i will choose export animations choose the animations folder and i will press export here okay and then here i will not change anything i don't want to override existing files so i will not change anything and it's export and here it is ex uh, exported in the animations root folder here okay now i will go to the mesh capate do the same thing here in this folder so uh but before doing that you have to make sure you export them and uh, a different folder like I did for the canvas style. So now right click on the mesh cut page, retarget animations, and here, same thing, uh, retarget skeletal mesh. I will choose the same, Emmet NRW, and my Kathak dance here, whatever it was. Okay, here it is. Double click on it, and you can see I have start. Uh, the Kathak dance has been started. Okay, so the root will be a little bit higher. You can see in the, uh, in the animation, uh, in the warning. So it doesn't matter just export it and right later on you can uh move it down okay so now if i will show you here the animations uh first of all gundam style you can see he's on the floor doing some good dance here okay and then if i will go back to my kathak dance little bit off the floor so but you can uh like move the root down by baking the control rig and using additive so let's do one thing let's go to the levels and make a sequencer here so i will right click here i will go to cinematics level sequence okay and here what i'm going to do is that i will just simply uh make a level sequence called dance now i will go in the dance and i will add my actor sequence uh my actor to sequencer now, what I don't want here is you can see there are some changes done in the sequencer for Unreal Engine 5.4 because there is a motion design also now. So, uh, but don't worry about that. These are some really good ch changes. So I will like remove all my control rigs from here. Okay. And I will go to my body. Okay. And uh, add the animations here. So I will go to the body. Uh, sorry, body plus animations and i will choose here my first animation just to show you or like my kathak dance let's let's see kathak dance okay but don't put the original one choose the one which you retargeted and then export it here you can see in the path of in the tooltip it is mesh capate but this one is the animations root folder one this is the one that i exported so now it is there Okay, and now what you can do is that if, uh, okay, first of all, this animation, you can see if you hover over it, it tells you that it is 300 frames long. So what I need to do is that I have to increase the uh, time length of my sequencer to 300. So it's exactly the same size of my, same length of my animation. So the duration is same. And if I will play it, so you can see that it is doing Kathak dance. Okay so oh wow i can do kathak dance nice okay so this is how you can do that you can move him down by adding the con baked control rig which we, I, I will show you later on okay now uh you can see that uh let's remove this one and add uh the gundam style one so i will go to the body uh and then animation and i'll type here gundam style but I don't want the Gundam style, which is the original one. I want the one which I retargeted and exported, which is this one. 
because you can see the path it says game, game animations the path so i will select this one in the tooltip it will show you that it is in the game animations this is the one where i exported so i will choose this one and i will i can play it okay so this animation is uh what you can do here is that this is quite long so you can make your sequence longer but i will keep it shorter right now so what you can do else is that if you will see my shoulders are a little bit flowing down i don't have collarbones okay so what i can do i can go to the body bake to control rig and meta uh, like uh, and the meta human uh, like control rig i will bake it and then i will press plus button and edit it now here if it is on in the air like in the mash capade animation kathak dance you have seen it was in the air you can move it down or in this animation i will work on the uh the clavicles because the clavicles are quite uh like off so i will move these clavicles here create the keyframe for that here this one also a little bit move it up make a keyframe for this one as well okay or else what you can do is that if you still uh, feel like it is quite uh like attached okay so you can move these bones okay let me turn off the snapping here okay so you can move this bone uh realistically like the clavicle okay and then make sure the keyframes are uh are created as well so for the, for the safe side i will make the keyframe again for the both clavicles so now he kind of looks like a uh, much more better uh in standing pose okay and now if i will play it so you can see that it's better than what it was doing before okay so this is how you can uh do these kind of animations inside uh like your unreal engine on meta humans by retargeting i hope that you have liked this new uh, unreal engine 5.4 retargeting uh option this uh, new method which is quite uh like fast method so uh let's see you in the next lesson if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do it now and don't forget to hit the bell icon by the way, I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos without subscribing. So let's change that. Subscribe to my channel and be the part of the interactive community. Now, here's something really important I want to talk about. Please do not download my videos. Just watch them online. When you download them, it messes up my watch time hours. And that's a bummer. I want to keep creating awesome videos, but it's demotivating when I lose out on those stats. Thanks a bunch for your support. You guys rock. Catch you all in the next video.